Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today what I got for you is the infamous, it is infamous really, Dahua camera. This is an IPC 4120 and you can get these things so cheap nowadays. You can get them on Facebook, yard sales, eBay and everything else. Five, ten dollars and I have four of them myself here at the house that I use on my own system. And I really like them. Even though they're a super cheap Chinese camera, they work really well. This is a 3.6 millimeter lens, which gives you a pretty wide field of view. And um, I really like these cameras. Um, this one I'm hand holding in my hand is actually junk because it got wet and the terminals just rotted out on it. But I've got another one. I've got it um, up here, nailed up to the wall over here. And we're going to be... Well, I'm going to show you step by step from purchase to putting it onto your computer. Um, you need just a little bit of networking knowledge to be able to follow along with me. But I'm, if, even with zero knowledge, I believe that you can do this and get it onto your home computer. All right. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to find out where your home router is okay find out where your home router is and you need to get one of these cords all right this is a networking cord so for wherever you're going to put this camera to your router you got to get one of these networking cords from your from your router all the way to the camera okay you can purchase these uh, ready-made cables on Amazon um, you can get them in all kinds of different lengths 10 foot 5 foot 6 foot 100 feet 25 feet um, you can get them ready-made on Amazon so what you want to do is you want to plug one end of your, your network cable into your router and then plug the other end into okay your camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in right now to my camera over here. Uh, oof. Plug it in. Let me get that up there. I just want to show you the camera I'm using. See, I just plugged it in. I just plugged it in here. All right. And it's that camera right here. It's a, it's a little bit different style. That, that one up there is a 3200. Okay, so now you got your IPC camera. Let me just get that out of the way there. You've got your IPC camera plugged into your home router. Now what you're going to do is there's where you plug in your home router. Now you've got to give your camera some power. And how you do that is you get yourself one of these things. They call it a wall warp. This is a 12 volt power supply with a 5.5 millimeter barrel connector. And that plugs right into your camera. All right, and I've already got that camera over there powered up. Okay, so now you've got your camera plugged into your home network. You've got power going to your camera. Now the next thing you've got to do is you've got to reset your camera. Because again, you got this thing from eBay, yard sale, Facebook or something like that. Somebody else has probably had this installed in their home and it most likely has a username and password on it that you don't know. So without resetting it, you'll never get this onto your network, all right? So now, how you get into your camera, normally all Dahua cameras use a T10 Torx type screw, all right, in their covers. Here's the cover right here. And there's three screws all the way around, okay, the outside of this. You got to open it up because the reset switch that I'm, I'm looking for is on the inside and this is how you reset one of these cameras right here on the circuit board there's a little tiny switch you want to press and hold that switch for at least 30 seconds no longer no less hold it for 30 seconds and that will reset the camera back to manufacturer specs okay it's going to reset the username and password to both admin admin and it's going to reset the ip address to 192 168 1.108 
okay you don't have to remember that because I'm going to show you right here all right so now we got our camera plugged into the network we've got power going to our camera and we have reset our camera now let's do some work on the PC let me switch over here so now you're on your desktop of your PC you want to go right down here I'm using a Windows 10 PC I don't know Mac so I can't help you guys you want to go to command prompt matter of fact I'm gonna back out of that down here in the start okay you want to put in C M D command prompt all right and I usually always run it as administrator so click here just say yes then in this window you want to put in IP config C O N F I G so right here IP config and then hit enter on your keyboard <clears throat> now it brings up this right here all right now the two numbers that you're concerned about are the subnet mask and the default gateway all right so what you want to do is just leave this window open just minimize it we're going to be using that later all right so now it's minimized down here in the tray now you want to go out on the internet and you want to go, go to dahuawiki.com forward slash config tool and I downloaded the config tool for Windows here's Mac right here I cannot vouch for the validity of this because I've never downloaded it but I've downloaded the Windows and I put it through my Norton antivirus and it came up with no viruses so I downloaded it and everything worked fine all right so now after you download your windows and of course you go through the setup all right of the the uh, the tool you'll have a icon on your desktop right here called config tool as soon as you double click on the config tool it'll automatically go out onto your network and look for your camera so I'll double click to say yes wait for it to look around okay so now it did find my camera if it does not find your camera this could be the problem down here is the these are unchecked okay what you want to do is if you have if you see no cameras here just check both of these little boxes and your camera will show up here all right so now remember when I said after you default your camera it'll revert back to the manufacturer specs of 192 168 1.108 what we need to do now is we need to get this camera on the same network segment as your home network and how you find that out is remember you bring up your command prompt and your home default gateway is 192.168.0.1 that's actually the IP address to your router all right so we want to get your camera on the same segment so 192.168.0.1 is your router so this one here is 192.168.1.108 so what we want to actually do is just change this one to a zero and that will put your camera onto the same segment as your home network and how you do that is you go right here to edit and you leave it as static and the target IP is basically it's this number but you want to change this one to zero to match your home network so 192 168 dot zero okay dot 108 now remember the subnet mask that is this right here 255 255 255 blah 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 all the way down so you go 255 255 255 zero that's your subnet mask now the gateway remember your gateway 
is right here. Default gateway is 192.6801. Okay. So it's 192.168.0.1. That is the gateway. Then you say okay. All right. Now, if you notice right here, it is still at that one, but there's a green check mark. It means that it's waiting to be rediscovered. All you have to do is hit the re rediscovery up here. Your camera is now on the same segment, 192, 168, 0.108. All right. Now, you're sitting, a lot of you guys out there are saying, hey, okay, that's cool. I've seen this software before. All you have to do is go over here to web. Okay. It'll open up and it says ADT. Do not use this, guys. That This, this is the worst software in the flipping world. It wants you to upload all kinds of other... Uh, watch. I'm going to go um, admin, admin. Okay, I'm going to log into the camera and it's going to say, please click click here to install a plugin. That plugin has so many viruses in it, you're going to be cleaning your computer up for months trying to get all the viruses out of it. Um, ADT did not vet the uh, company that puts out this software right here very well because it is just loaded with freaking virus. So get out of here immediately. All right. So anyways, we've got our IP address changed to the same subnet, you know, subnet as our network because this used to be one, now it's zero. We're on our network. You want to get out of here. Just X out. The next thing you want to do is go back out on the internet. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what this is the software I like to use. It's called Camera FT, FTP. Okay, so <clears throat> write this or just copy this down and go to this site right here and <clears throat> Windows software, you just want to get the free download. Okay, it also can download for, you can also have your webcams set up. Um, and this is the FTV viewer. <coughs> I haven't got into that one yet. Um, and this is for uh, Mac down in here, iOS. Okay. You can do it on your, your mobile phone, everything else. But what I'm doing for this demonstration is I am using the Windows. Okay, this is the Windows. So I did the free download. I went through all the steps and I got it set up. So now let's put that down. All right, so now I want you want to uh, double click on camera FTP. This is the icon that shows up, okay, after you get it uploaded. So click on it. And actually, you want to go, um, I just hope that my camera doesn't show up because I was using this before. All right, so good, it's not showing up. So what you want to do is go up here to add. All right, you want to add an IP camera, click on that. Then say, find the IP camera on my local network, click on that. Now let it run its, let it run its thing. All right, it automatically found it, but let it continue running. Because it'll find other things that it thinks that is an, um, a camera, which it may find my uh, my Logic Tech camera here, which is uh, this one here is on 203. No, it's 119. Sorry, my other camera is on uh, 203. If it finds it, yeah, 203 is my other camera. All right, so let this finish. Okay, so now this is the camera right here. So you click, I mean, you can click on these other ones, but click on, click on the camera. This is your new IPC camera and then say next. Uh, yeah, see, it already, it already knew it was in there because I, I used it before. I'm just going to say yes. All right, put in the username and password for your IPC camera. Now, what you did is you defaulted the camera. So it's admin, admin, A D. M-I-N. 
A D M I N. Oops, I gotta hit the next key. All right, so now it's looking for it. It found the camera, okay? And then you just say next. Already added, can't add again, just say okay. Um, let's see, I've already added this before. What's it telling me to do? But anyways, you, you would say next and it, it would just, it would get you out of here. And I'm just gonna go here. And I'm gonna say start the camera. It's connecting the camera. There it is. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, that I, I I didn't fulfill my 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 thing, but you just say yes, 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 and it gets goes right through, and it shows up here, and then you just say start camera. So it's pretty cool. Um, so right now, um, I am going to if. If you click this, it disables the recording, just stops the camera. You can actually take a photo. So take a photo. And say yes. Right, so take a photo. And then it, it tells you where the photo is stored. Okay. It goes in the D data blah 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 grabs, whatever that is. Probably because I grabbed the photo. Alright. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um Let's see, let's go to, um, I think it's right here. Yeah, view the footage. I'm gonna click on that, all right. This was from earlier. I'm just gonna double click it. And I'll just go right about there. And there I am. I was just, you know, playing around with the camera. And if you, got, if you notice guys, I got a little boo-boo on my head up there. I had a little run-in with a fisher cat last night in my chicken coop. And the fisher cat decided to use my head as a launching pad and popped one of his claws right into my forehead. So that's a, that's a story for another day. And you can see all the tractor trailers going by, everybody going to work this morning. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I could go into all of this other stuff, but, you know, that's that's just a, a story for another day. But anyways, it's really nice stuff. Camera FTP, FTP virtual security system. Um, this right here, that's your IPC camera that I uh, walked you through step by step. And I'm going to come back down here. And that's it, guys. That is how to get a IPC from your yard sale all the way onto your PC and recording. Um, <clears throat> there's other things on that camera FTP. I'll do some videos later, but you can actually um, put the app onto your phone so that you can watch your camera from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. It's really pretty cool. All right. Questions, comments, everything. Leave it down below. Ring the bell. Uh, subscribe and if you again if you want to know anything about IPC cameras or um, height vision cameras or something like that leave me a message down below and I'll I'll try my best to answer those for you but um, height vision has gone up and beyond and probably a lot of the new stuff I don't know anything about I've been out of the business now for four years since I retired so you know height vision is has always been increasing, increasing its its uh, fleet of different DVRs and cameras and whatnot. And I might not be able to, you know, help you, but I'll try. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.